Well, hello there, fishing friends. And if you're new here, welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be going after the alligator gar. This is the next fish that we're going to be going after in the Epic series for the US East DLC. This one is going to be found on location S10. As you can see, it is found in lakes, rivers, and it's on all depths. And we have a variety of bait here. We got some shiner and soft bait, minnow and crankbait to hunt it with. So we're gonna head out there to S10 and I'm gonna show you the quickest and easiest way I have found to find and catch this guy. Okay, so here we are on S10, Lake Martin. And basically what we're gonna be doing is, let's go ahead and look at the fish finder here, Fishopedia. Uh, we got your live bait shiner. We are going to be using a lure this time. We're going to be using a minnow. And so it's on all depths, but what I've been doing to hunt it is I've been using my minnow. And of course you do have to be on expert. Can't do this on hard or normal. You got to be on expert. You can have line and bait turned on, but you have to have it on expert because it is an epic fish. And what you're going to do is you're going to look out there and you're going to try to find the biggest swirl possible this i mean it is a huge swirl if you don't see any big swirls what you'll do is you'll reset your fish you'll get 15 new fish and to do that you go to hard back to expert and then wait for a second and see if you get any great big giant swirls uh, that one wasn't big enough it was a bigger swirl but it's not big enough it's i mean it's a huge swirl it, and it could be out there but we're looking for a big swirl, for, so we're looking for one on the top. I found that that's the quickest and easiest way to find this guy. So let's go back hard and expert again. Let me just grab my pole here and see if we get a big swirl. That's a decent sized swirl, but I still don't think it's big enough. I'll go ahead and go after that one. It might be it. And we'll see if my line turns red immediately after going over the top of it. And is it red automatically? It is not, so that's not it. It took too long. It should turn red pretty much instantly as soon as you go over the top of that swirl. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do another reset. Look for a giant swirl. We got a big one over here. It's still not giant though. I mean, when you see this swirl, you'll know it. <laughs> it's a big swirl. It is huge. Do a couple more resets and I might just sit here and look for some swirls. And then bring you back when I when I get the swirl that I'm looking for. Hmm, that might be it right there. Although it wasn't humongous, that is a pretty good size swirl. And it's swimming pretty fast. Let me go ahead and give that one a shot. Let's go right over the top of where that swirl was at. See if it turns red immediately. Yep, it did. That's probably it right there. See how big that swirl is? And it is a huge fish, so it's one of the three huge fish that are found in the freshwater. So it will take a minute or two to bring this guy in. Uh, but luckily he was pretty close, so it shouldn't take too long. Uh, when you get him way out there, you know, that does take a while to bring in. But when they're up close like this, they don't take very long. Yep, there he is. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for those great big swirls. It probably took me about six resets. So it was probably about three more resets after I uh, dropped off and brought you guys back before uh, I found him. So it doesn't take a whole lot. It doesn't take too many resets. And you're just looking for that ginormous swirl. Oops, missed that snap. That's okay. Almost there. How are you guys enjoying this US East DLC? What's your favorite location? Let me know down in the comments what your favorite location is. It's pretty heavy up in the north. <laughs> I've noticed that. I was hoping that there'd be some New Hampshire locations. So I got family up there. But nope, a lot of New York locations. There we go. He is one ugly fish, that's for sure. And it's not my uh, not my personal best, but we're gonna go ahead and keep him anyways. Well, there you have it. That's how you catch the alligator gar. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if it was, make sure you give me a thumbs up. 
And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. I'll be posting some more epics. And then we got the uniques coming in after that. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.